Good morning, I'm Dr. April Ziegley from Sumner, Washington, and I don't know about you guys, but when they shut us down for nine weeks, I spent most of that time watching Zoom webinars, Zoom CE, Zoom calls. I've never heard of Zoom before all of this, and if I never had to do another Zoom again, it would still be too soon. God, that was annoying, but I learned a lot, and um, <clears throat> trying to dig through all of that information was a little bit overwhelming. Um, but one thing that kept popping up over and over again for me was hypochlorous acid. I had never heard of hypochlorous acid before this whole thing happened. But apparently, here in the U.S., we're the only ones who had not. So in Europe, they've been using it for years to um, sterilize their water lines. Medical field's been using it for a long time to clean... For wounds for wound care. The food industry, even here in the U.S., has been using it on our on our foods and in restaurants and even in the grocery stores. That stuff that sprays down on produce, hypochlorous acid. Uh, they irrigate eyes with it. Our bodies actually make it. Our white blood cells make it in a different uh, parts per million than we're going to be using. And so <clears throat> it's all biocompatible for us, which is good. And it costs us next to nothing to make. Also amazing. What makes hypochlorous acid amazing is a couple of things. First, it cleans faster and better than the stuff we're used to. So it is better than Cavicide and Birex and all of that. So COVID is actually easy to kill. That's not the thing we're most concerned about. Uh, you know, we're, we're more worried about some of the really nasty things. Although right now, everybody's worried about COVID and aerosolizing it and all of that. But we can put hypochlorous acid into, let's say, a fogger or a mister and get it out everywhere in our air and it will kill it in the air, which is really nice versus if you were to do that with cavicide in your air, nobody can breathe it. I don't know if you guys have ever walked into a room where there's been Lysol or <clears throat> Cavicide sprayed. You feel like you cannot breathe even if you have a mask on or an N95 on. This is not the same. This smells like maybe a clean swimming pool or I don't know. It really kind of just smells like a swimming pool, which is really nice. So we're actually using it as well in our water bottles on our chairs but in a much smaller uh, parts per million and um, for that we got that advice from John Coyce and that is actually cutting down on the uh, aerosol issues that we're generating in the first place so I am a little concerned about it corroding our hand pieces and things so we're using that at a third of the 220 parts per million strength and then doing a complete flush at the end of every day of water. However, um, I do like that we're eliminating the aerosol issues and anything we can do to keep ourselves, our team, and our patients safer is a good thing. So I'm going to show you guys um, how we make it because really you just need the electrolyzer, which is around $250. And then all you need is water, salt, and vinegar. So, I mean, a gallon of vinegar is less than a dollar and you're gonna need less than a teaspoon to make one and a half liters of this. And then non-iodized salt, gosh. So it's probably for me to make a week's worth of this about 20 cents and it's amazing. Um, when I first sent our water lines in to be tested, they thought I sent them sterile water. So this stuff really, really works. And um, there's lots of studies on it. So we'll um, include some studies on it as well so you can see how well it is working. Okay, so this is one of our sprayers. And this actually will turn it into just like an aerosol mist, just like that. And it will, these little sprayers, for two of them on Amazon is about $20. And you can just basically fog your entire office after every single patient, which makes it really super nice. So you can completely get rid of all the aerosol issues in that room. And then you don't have any issues. So we're using these all over the office. 
we're doing our lab after or after every patient each room gets this we do our lobby twice a day we have one in the bathroom for patient use but i don't know what they use it we use it in there every time we do the lobby we just use them all the time super cheap and then this is our electrolyzer that makes the hypochlorous acid so we need this to run about three times to make enough for a full week it is stable for up to six days but we make it fresh every week we're only here three days but that's enough then for us to have it for the full week if it's in the sunshine it's probably only stable for two days but i don't really we're in washington not that much sunshine so really my takeaway on the hypochlorous acid is that it's cleaning faster than anything else we've got and the reason is because it's basically similar to bleach except it's the um, opposite charge that bleach is so it when we have all of these issues like with the viruses and everything else bleach would have to sit for 10 full minutes to, to kill them this kills within 30 seconds this is kind of brilliant in the fact that it does that it's not um harmful to the people. It's not harmful to our materials. It is not um, caustic. Even you can spray it even on a keyboard. Um, it's not damaging to our chairs, to our floors, to the fabrics. It's not causing any damage to anything in our office. And, and you can breathe around it. So Everything about it is great. I mean, you can even rinse with it and eliminate any, uh, I don't know why they're not using this as a pre-rinse, to be honest. MIT is now doing a study on it to see if this would be a better pre-rinse. So this would be a, a great thing to incorporate into your practice. You can buy that uh, electrolyzer at Eco, Ecolux Tech. I'll give you the link to that too. Super inexpensive way to get a much, much cheaper <clears throat> sanitizer in your office. Um, I know a lot of companies are starting to sell hypochlorous acid, but dang, if you have seen what they're charging for that stuff, whew, we should have started packaging this because wow, Patterson just sent me a link to show me that they could give it to us. I want to say it was like $140 for a gallon crazy probably cost me two and a half cents to make a gallon of it so <laughs> don't buy it make it yourselves this stuff's amazing you guys really need to get on board this train make it super easy